today we're going to be giving some tips on how to spot the perfect breeder when you're looking into buying a new Bull Terrier pup. But first of all, I want to offer you my congratulations. If you're settling on a Bull Terrier being the breed for you, you've already made a hugely important decision that I'm sure you won't regret. So let me try and make the next stage of picking your Bull Terrier breeder a little bit easier for you. Welcome back to the Bull Terrier Show. If you're new here, my name's Charlie and I'm a certified canine leader here at FenrirCanineLeaders.com. This channel is dedicated to teaching you everything you need to know about Bull Terriers. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on that notification bell so you never miss a future upload. When looking for any breeder, it's important to go with your gut and make sure that you aren't pressured into any rash decisions. Cost of puppies is on the rise, so you are making a huge financial investment when bringing home a pup. Although, of course, the health and care in regards to where your puppy is coming from is also of vital importance. As the popularity of dog owning rises, as does the opportunity for puppy mills to churn out unhealthy puppies for a profit. So if you see a price that seems too good to be true for a puppy that a breeder wants to deliver to you before visiting, the odds are unfortunately rather high that they will be coming from a mill rather than a reputable source. Hey guys, very quickly, I just wanted to ask, are you following us over on Instagram? If you're not, there's two accounts that I would love for you to check out. The first one is our brand account, at Femria Canine Leaders, where you can see more about our industry-leading products that we create. If you're interested in following me personally, that's at I am Will Atherton, where you can see behind the scenes of me working with some of the most extreme behaviour cases in the world and what it takes to run these kind of YouTube channels. And maybe if you just want to be able to come over and chat with me, that's the place for you. So there'll be links down in the description box for both of our Instagram pages. I'd love for you to come and check them out and hopefully we'll chat over there. To avoid any scamming and make sure that you are supported in your decision making, it's always recommended that you visit a new prospective pup at least once before making any decisions. Meeting your pup will give you the chance to see them around their families and that can give you an insight to their temperament once they're settled back at home. Choosing the pup who isn't becoming vicious towards their siblings nor the one who's hiding in the corner will give you more of a chance of having a well-rounded pup who's that little bit easier to handle. Meeting them with at least one time with a parent will also help you see the health of their family which is really important. You should be able to have scans and health screenings from the vets as well as kennel club required documents that will put you at ease when it comes to any possible health issues that may come up in the future. For instance, bull terriers are more likely than any other breeds to have kidney problems, so scanning for that is always recommended. As there is a high percentage of possibility for this particular issue with bull terriers, your breeder should have a real understanding of your concerns and have a clear scan that can back up that care has been taken. Also, back in March 2011, new rules within the Kennel Club were introduced surrounding the breeding of Merle puppies. Merle is a genetic pattern that occurs on a dog's coat and so should be pretty easy to spot. Merle pups have mottled patches of colour on their coat and this now means that they can't be bred. Not because the pattern isn't aesthetically pleasing, because there are high risks of serious health issues with both sight and hearing for the dog, which can be hugely detrimental to the quality of life. Similarly, dogs can no longer be officially bred from two male parents. Another element of mating is that although it is possible for a bull terrier to be mated into a miniature bull terrier, approval must be given from the kennel club prior to doing so. One final thought on this topic is a reminder that, as with most breeds, it's officially illegal to dock dogs' tails throughout England, Wales and Scotland. You must avoid any breeder who has done so, as the repercussions may be passed down onto you if you're caught with them. And so, meeting parents and seeing registry to the kennel club can settle any qualms regarding this plethora of health and ethical concerns, so that then you're able to focus on bonding with your pup. When meeting, you should be able to have the opportunity to ask any questions you have for your breeder as well as spend time with bonding with your pup. If they are passionate about bull terriers and making sure their litters are going to the right forever home, they'll be more than happy to answer any questions you have and will probably have some questions of their own. As there's a stigma on breeding for looking fearsome or threatening, breeders will want to know you aren't going to bring out the worst in their beloved pups.
They should be calm and caring rather than grow to become aggressive to others. Also, if you're a first-time dog owner or specifically bull terrier owner, the breeder may want to make sure you're prepared to take on the intricacies of the breed and they do have the right to not accept an offer of ownership if they are concerned. So make sure you do your research into this breed and show your commitment to training and overall care to help reassure any prospective breeder. Do remember that no matter how perfect a breeder is, it doesn't mean there'll be no work for you to do once you get your pup home. All dogs, no matter what breed, require training and early socialisation to ensure they have a well-rounded and happy life. If you're ready to make that commitment to long-term care, then you, your breeder, and of course your pup, should be set to have made the right decision. So I hope you've enjoyed today's video. If so, make sure you hit that like button and get involved down on the comments section below. And don't forget, if you are new here, to make sure you subscribe. We have two dedicated Bull Terrier videos coming here every single week. So I can't wait to talk to you again on the next episode of the Fenrir Bull Terrier Show.